Read them and weep, cabron. Oh, shit. <laughs> so this is it, huh? The great new business venture that's supposed to save all of our worthless lives? You want to get in? Look, I thought this was supposed to be our foot on the ladder. I thought we were going to make this place work. Hey, it might look like we playing cars, but we actually planning. Don't worry, sweet baby. We're about to go get our first project. At last, it works. What works? Oh, just a simple bit of electronic wizardry and intellectual bombast that hacks into the state-of-the-art satellite immobilization technology on board our target vehicle. <laughs> oh, me. I don't know what he just said, but it's on. Yes, it's on. Wait, what's on? This gadget is set to pick up on cell phone signals. Each time she makes a call, it will give you the new location. You have to stay close if you're going to get an updated position, though. Okay? For sure. Good looking, Z. Hey, Carl! There's two cars on the list, they say. And they're in the showroom across town. Let's go get them. <laughs> I always admired your direct approach, huh, Bray? Okay, let's go get those wheels. I don't have time for idiots. I like this place, you know? Where? San Piero, man. My home will always be the Varios and El Corona, but this city, it has something gentle about it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Kendall seems to like it too, you know? Oh yeah, she's really getting her head into this business thing. That's good. She always been the brains of the family. She should get out together or we'll make something of herself. I think she's aiming to make something out of all of us, eh? <laughs> yeah, she the moms of the family now. Hey, who's this truth guy, Holmes? I don't think he's wrapped too tight. He just sees everything from a different perspective, that's all. At first, I thought he was just another acid casualty fruitcake. But some of the things he say, I don't know, man. It ain't all bullshit. <laughs> hey, you gonna become an alien hunter, Holmes? <laughs> I'll take a rain check on that one. Here we go, Holmes. Hey, man, the cars are upstairs. What? How we gonna get them down? Can I help you two, uh, gentlemen? Yeah, you can help us by going to help some other motherfucker. Y yeah, the, that sounds like a good idea. All right, CJ, it's time to roll. Let's follow the leader, you better keep up. Ah, uh, you a maniac, S.A.? Yes, eh? Hey, CJ, is this walkie-talkie working? Yeah, reading you loud and clear. Come on, DJ, see if you can keep up with Caesar Field. Find a little pizza tram up the hill. Beat some chocolate cake. <laughs> this tram driver must be shitting herself, huh? Hello, cop. What took you, eh? Watch this! Nitro! 
Okay, Caesar. That's enough fun. Let's get these cars back to the garage. Okay, CJ. Hey, I know a quick route. Hello, cuz. Went back again into your dust. Get out of the fucking world! Can we think about getting back before I end up in a car wreck barbecue? Sure thing, Holmes. There's a shortcut this way. Uh-oh. Oh, cop. Hey, back up, Holmes. Back up, back up. Yeah, I got it. It's in the manifold. Shit, I just changed that seal. Must have got a crimp in it. Damn. Hey, C's, your boy is here. He ain't my boy. Hey. We're almost living a normal life, huh? This is far from Grove Street, right? Yeah, I know, but I just can't get it out the back of my mind. Moms, sweet, smoke, I just can't let that go. I know. So what we gonna do about sweet? See, it's a shitty situation, but I gotta let it play out a little longer, okay? Okay, but be careful. We ain't trying to lose you again. That's right, sis. Good looking out. Hey, Carl! I got a rap to you, Holmes. I know a guy who knows a guy who handles freight containers down on the docks. He saw one of the containers was loading up cars, and one was a match for a car on a customer's wish list. So he marked the container with a spray can, but it might be too late. The ship's loading and it moves out tomorrow. Okay, let's go peep it out, see what we can see. How are we gonna steal a car off a container ship, Holmes? You know, the same way they got on. Use a dockside crane. Man, those things are real high up. I ain't too good with ladders, and I'm afraid of heights. Okay, I use the crane. You better be ready to crack the container. That's the ship, CJ. Okay, I'll go sort out the crane. Give me a second. Well, be quick. I don't wanna be caught slipping out here. Caesar, none of these is marked with spray paint. Well, we'll just have to try one at a time, eh? Not this one, CJ!
No luck, CJ, try another! CJ, this is the one! Good work, Hobbs! Hey! What the fuck do you think you're doing? CJ! I could do with some help! Stay right there, you thieving bastard! Let's just grab the car and go! There's gotta be an easier way to earn a living than this! Sure, Holmes, I guess. But what else you qualified for? <laughs> yeah, I feel you. That was like a piece of tortilla, Holmes. Hey man, where you been? I tricked one of the cars on our shopping list. But the crazy bitch, she dressed like the devil. I've been following her for hours, but she stopped for nothing. You'd have to ram her off the road in order to get a chance to get her car, and you know a wrecked car is no good to us. I swear she's playing with me. Dude, calm down. If she playing with you, then she probably won't get one time involved until it turn ugly. We gotta find a way to stop her or slow her down. Too bad we can't involve the police. Cause then we could pop her crazy bitch tires and bang her crazy bitch ass in jail for being a danger to my sanity! You know what? I think I got an idea. Her, just about to fix the tire. Should be back any minute. Okay, careful with that function repair shit. It's nasty stuff. Will do. Later, man. 
Man, stuff is disgusting. Oh, shit. All over my clothes. Fucking welcome, man. What you know about my family? Now, first we need to see what you're made of. What it look like I'm made of? Putin? No, anger and hate. And that's what I like about you. Hey, there's a truck in the garage. Let me say we take it for a spin. Here's the deal. This is all about speed and commitment. You got GPS in the cab. Get to each set of the map coordinates as quick as you can. Make it to all the coordinates, then get the truck back here, lose the truck, and you fail. First, what's the GPS? Second, fail what? And third, who the fuck are you? Sorry. Need to know basis only. Oh, one more thing. This baby's got four-wheel steering instead of a handbrake. Good luck.
Okay. Boss was right about you. Boss will be in touch. Who the fuck is this? Son, get back to the ranch, and I'll explain everything. And I mean everything. Can't you just tell me now? I guess not. Hey, Carl. Hey, what the fuck, man? Hey, Torino, I, I told you my bad, man. What the hell can I say? I screwed you up. Calm down, kid. Just go ahead and kill me then. Calm down. Man, you ain't number the fucking Yale dealer anyway, Torino. Shut up and sit down. What, you think I'm a drug dealer? And what, you think you're a crusader for good? Do you have any idea what's going on? Any idea whatsoever? Do you? Do you? Nah, I pay as little attention to things as possible. Do not be a fucking smart ass with me. I work for a government agency. It is not important which one. I will try not to confuse you. Yes, when we last met, I was involved in battling threats in Latin America by any means necessary. That does not make me a drug dealer. Now, the money that we raised, the friends that we won over, have helped us immeasurably in our overseas interests. Government agency? Kids like you, you expect heroes. We're fighting a war out there. I'll be a hero and I'll lose. And what do we have? Communism in Ohio. People sharing. Nobody buying stuff. That kind of bullshit. So relax, and listen. All right, all right. I'm listening. I know what kind of guy you are. I need a guy like you. To do things I can't get caught doing. Like what? I need you to commandeer a truck. A rival agency with a confused social agenda. They got things that we need. Now this is a two-man job. You'll need a friend. Use your sister's boyfriend, but don't tell him a thing. Remember, I'll be watching you. I got here as fast as I could, CJ. Yeah, you sure did. How you know I needed help? <laughs> Man, you losing it, Holmes. You phoned me a half hour ago. I did? I mean, oh yeah, I did. Sorry, man, I got a whole lot on my mind. We need to jack a truck on the freeway. It's headed to San Fierro. We can get on the freeway here, Holmes. What's the plan? I'm gonna pull alongside, and you gonna hop aboard. Oh shit, you didn't mention that on the phone. It'll be a walk in the park. Tell Kendall I love her. There's a rig up ahead. Just a little closer, Holmes. Okay, CJ, let's get this rig back to the garage. I'm trying to get through!
What an asshole. Roger that, big monkey. I got a 13-6 fat vulture. Need to acquire a drowning baby. Over. What? In 15 by the fat moon. Break your heart. Over and out. Carl. I need you to do me a favor. Yeah, I'll do you a proper injury, man. What you knowing about my brother? <laughs> Relax. He's in prison upstate. D-Wing, cell 13. To the left, I got a child killer who wants to rip his throat out. To the right of him, I got a white supremacist who wants to eat his heart, to be precise. Now, don't worry. Tenpenny and Pulaski are really relatively benign, unless, of course, you're a family member of Officer Pendleberry, whom they shot when he threatened to expose them, but... You do know all about that, right? <laughs> Damn! Hey, man, how you know all this stuff, man? And won't you stop it? You just don't understand, do you, kid? Look, it's all white knights and heroes. We have to make decisions, kid. You know, I try to set bad people on other bad people, and sometimes I let good guys die. He's your brother, but to me, he's just collateral. It's a very delicate decision. Over here, you got all the scumbags inside the country. And over here, you got all the scumbags outside the country. And me and my colleagues, we're the fucking pivot. Keep the government in work. Which reminds me, come here, okay? I need you to head over here in the buggy outside, okay? Okay, let off a flare. We got some precious cargo needs collected. Hey, hold up. What about my brother and all that shit you was talking hey, about? Hey, don't worry. Sweet's just fine. He gets touched. A prison guard goes home and finds that his wife and kid have been murdered. Everything's under control. We'll talk later. Now, come on, get out of here. Torino, where you at? Miles away. No time for niceties, kid. Choose a vehicle, grab the equipment I've provided, get to that drop zone, and wait for that package. Jesus, will you stop doing that? Hold up! Shit, pilot says he's got trouble. Two agency choppers coming in on an intercept. Can you see them? Yeah. Shoot them down! Protect the cargo at all costs.
to Las Brujas. Where are you? You giving me the heebie-jeebies, man. Carl, I will always be watching, or listening, or both. It's amazing. What's up now, Torino? This history, it's all lies. It says Hitler killed himself, and then we nuked Japan. And people believe this shit. <laughs> Jesus. Well, if it makes them sleep better at night, I guess. Hey, man, what did you want? Is you gonna free my brother? No. Not now. And here's a little news flash. I said that to get you to do something for me. Man, you real fucked up. But the shocker is, we are gonna look after him. Because I need him alive as much as you do. Oh, thanks. You know, after what you've done for me, it's like you're a pro now. I got double agents in Panama. I want to put a price on your head. A Russian spy. Little fat Boris-looking guy. He's asking for clearance to interrogate you. Russian style. Calipers on the genitals. Feels good. You'd like it. That ain't nothing cool, man. Just leave me alone. You bad news. Don't worry about it. The Russians got bigger things to worry about than your genitals, believe me. The whole country went to shit. You know, we tried hard to put a lid on it, but that idiot Gorbachev with his little strawberry in his forehead, he gave away the crown jewels. Still, they got their, you know, their boy in the White House. That was nice. So? What you want me to do? Now listen, I need you to buy me some property, okay? Shouldn't cost that much. You offer them a dollar. If they give you a hard time, kill them. I'm gonna need you to start doing some real wet work here for me soon, okay? Enough of this little girl bullshit. Now get out of here. Come on, beat it. Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro, how is it? Yo, dude, the garage is coming along nicely, man. But I rang about something else. There's an unofficial street racing club in San Fierro. Unofficial as in illegal, right? I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Anywho, they meet up around the driving school someplace. Thought you might, you know, like to know. Thanks, Jethro. I'ma think about it, and I'll holler at you. Later, man. <laughs> 